I was showing my American mate all the Australian animals on the way and we came across this snake. I was supposed to be helping it off the road, but then I decided to grab it. <laughs> I wanted to show him how friendly and calm these snakes are, but this one definitely was You're wasn't. kidding. get onto the gold. Now everyone thinks because of the gold pan pictures that's what I'm doing, but I'm not. I've been pretty deep in this for the last three years. It's called gold sniping. You take snorkel on goggles, a screwdriver or a little metal hook and you look for cracks and low points in rivers and creeks where you know there could be gold. You remove all the sand and then you scratch out the rocks and then you use your hand in a waving motion. <laughs> Look at it all. This moves away all the light no stuff way. and you should just be left with the gold. And sometimes you hit little pockets like that and it's epic. <laughs> Nearly as epic as when you find little chunky nuggets. This has taken me to some spots that I would never go on. Always based around the ocean and I've climbed mountains now walked these streams that flood twice a year, found all these amazing camp spots. And one day, I was halfway up a mountain in a tiny little creek. I noticed it changed direction from last time. I moved a bit of sand and found a handful of nuggets all in one tiny area. It was insane. So go down there and click subscribe because when I put that video out, it will blow people's minds. Anyway, this was a different day. I was out on a little trip with my mate Drew. He was finding a different gold to me. Drew knew I'd been finding gold. But he was like, how the hell are you doing? I was like, I can't even explain, man. You just gotta come out. I showed him, he laughed, but then he's come every other time since. These rivers are freezing cold. We walked pretty far and I'd found this one little good corner where I thought it might hold some gold. So I got in and cleaned all the overburden out. And then it was time to start sniping. Once you discover a nice crack, you use your hand like a big fan and clear all the sand out. What you want to do is get to the bottom bedrock because that's where the gold will sit. You might have already seen the tomato sauce bowl in the background. It's called a snuffer bottle. You use a little metal straw, you bend the tip and then you use it like a vacuum. You squeeze all the water out and then you suck it up and then you hear that sweet sound of gold hitting metal. things that always happen when I go do this. One, underwater torches leak and break. Two, you go through a lot of pairs of gloves and you need the gloves because it's bloody freezing in these little creeks. And then three, you lose a lot of tools. The murky water, the running around, the excitement, it just happens.
gold is not super yellow and shiny like you'd expect. And when you're working around granite with heaps of pyrite and fool's gold like I am here, it's really hard to pick. So you're looking for that different yellow color. No matter how small a piece of gold is, I suck it up because it all adds to your end of day total. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that noise of the gold hitting the metal on the snuffer bottle, but it's addictive. And when you get on a good little streak of gold and you're sitting there and every time you move your hand, you're just sucking up another little bit of gold. It's just such an epic feeling knowing that that gold's been trapped there for years and years and years and it's been through gold rush after gold rush and you're still out there finding it. It's pretty epic. Whenever you come across a good crack like this and there's some rocks really jammed in there, it's always an epic sign. I use a paint roller from Bunnings. They're like $2, you take the little roller head off. It's got a perfect little handle which allows you to rip these rocks out of the way. Once you move them, be careful, because like this, there was gold all around that rock. It's pretty difficult to see through this camera just because of the light this day. But trust me, subscribe, because some of the other days I've gone and some of the other finds I've had are insane. It had been an epic day. It was time to go set up camp and check out what we got. gold since I was a kid and I just couldn't believe that I went out here jumped in a river and started finding it and since then I've just kept going my mates laugh at me for sitting at the fire and drying my gold but look at this the old Seppo Snyder he now comes along as well head back out in the wilderness <laughs> I knew the Seppo would get addicted Anyway, subscribe. There's so much more to come. Some insane days on the gold. I am so cold. I was just about to get out. I was just feeling this. That crack is loaded. And some not so good days. Four x time, fellas. <laughs> We got back home and I'd found some nice chunkier bits and it actually weighed a lot more than I thought. Here's Drew's Instagram story from that day. Oh my god. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> Hit subscribe. There's a lot more to come. Hunting, surfing, diving, looking for crystals. Just anything I do, I've started just taking my camera along. I love filming. I love going out and doing things. So... Subscribe, leave me a comment, and I'll see you next you time. See it? It looks like it's got a bit of shape. I'm just gonna squeeze up there. Don't know where you 
gonna be able to see this. That's a stonker. So cool. I'll see you then. Yeah. Yeah. You must be blinded by the lights. We came to shine here. Watch it look daytime in the night. We bring the vibes here. We full of life, you keep the change. Keep the change. They hate and say we went and changed. I stay the same. You must be blinded by the